Hey guys, Latanya Davis here to talk to you today. But before I begin, please feel free to share, like, or make sure you add a comment on to the video today. Well, I have, it's been a while uh, since I've blogged, uh, kind of living my life, but also um, I have been subbing. I started subbing again uh, while I'm still in town. And that's been fun. I was able to sub in the classroom, but also just yesterday I was able to sub in the gym for the first time as a former PE teacher. And it felt great. It felt really great to be back in the gym. And uh, obviously I miss, the, miss kids and it was really good to have that opportunity to make them laugh and uh, teach them how to exercise and new games and different things like that. So I had a really good time. I really missed it. Um, and uh, it just brings joy to me to, to help kids and have that opportunity to teach them again. So sorry it's been so long since my last blog, kind of living my life. Um, and uh, yeah, it also, something else that really, you know, I'm gonna title this uh, video today, Does Anybody Care? And the reason I'm doing that is because it seems like people aren't really interested in, you know, what I'm talking about regarding the desegregation program. Now, I know a lot of schools have been really interested in trauma and different things like that that kids go through, but it just seems like it's kind of, you know, the buzzword and it's something that they can find something, uh, schools can find something for teachers to be interested in that they know about, um, but, as a student that went through the desegregation program, I really wonder, you know, about that situation because as I go through now, it just seems like no one really cares about the topic. And that's okay, everyone has the right to their own opinion, but it, it's kind of sad because there's so many kids going through that program. And I just wonder about that. It just seems like the topic is not, you know, something people are interested in. And everybody has the right to, you know, be interested in what they wanted to be in, but it's kind of down, a Debbie Downer because it, 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 as a result of that, it kind of gives me a little writer's block. And I don't have that motivation that I used to have uh, in this topic as a result of that. And it brings me to a conversation I had last week with my boyfriend. We were talking about, you know, students that went through the program and me going through the program and how, um, some people feel that no one cares about them as they go, are going through the tough times in life. And um, for example, today is a prime example of that. It's the shutdown, the government shutdown. I mean, people haven't been getting paid. Actual government workers are not getting paid right now. And for someone that gets paid every day, you know, it's no big deal to them. They don't understand that. But to not have money and to not be able to pay your rent your mortgage, your you know car loan, to not be able to pay for food and things like that, that's a problem. And there's a lot of people going through that right now. And it's not just you know one company, it's a lot of people. I mean, there's people that are not able to pay their regular bills, their electric bills and things like that. They're going to food banks for food, guys. A lot of people in the US is going through that right now. The United States, okay, uh, are going through that. They're going to food banks as if this is a we are the world situation. I mean, that is not okay in this country today in 2019. And, you know, people wonder, you know, about especially the government or if anyone cares right now. It's just a really low point and that's really unfortunate. And growing up, I always talk about how on all of these blogs, I always talk about how I grew up extremely poor and I will continue talking about it because it was a rough time and it affect, affected a lot of things, but it also helped me as a teacher growing up the way that I did that and going through trauma. But, you know, I always felt like as a child, I always felt that no one cared um, because I'd look at commercials and they talk about, you know, let's feed the poor, donate money to feed the poor, donate money you know, to help others. And I, we never got those donations. We never got help. 
we never got support. So seeing that, you know, people are donating for these things and then seeing that no one's helping us as, you know, poor black children, it, you know, it kind of makes it hard um, to believe that someone is helping, you know? And so, you know, for, you know, African-American children that are going through the program, you know, they feel the government doesn't care. They feel the teachers doesn't care. They feel that no one else cares because no one's helping them and supporting them in that situation. Uh, not no one, but I'd say not a lot of people, or at least they don't see it. Um, so when people feel that other people don't care, how do you think they're gonna act? How do you think they're gonna, you know, behave? You know, they're not gonna care. And that is really important, not just for kids, Imagine an adult feeling that no one cares about them, how they're going to feel. So that is really a topic that needs to be discussed right now. And, you know, how are they going to react? They don't care. They're not going to care. No one's going to care if they feel that no one cares about them. So it's really important that um, it is seen that someone does care and that it shows that that's happening. And so... I, I just, I, I struggle with that, you know, with people that judge, you know, African-American people or just people that are poor and that are going through the struggle. Well, when they feel like they don't care, then they act like they don't care. And then you'll see messes. That's where messes occur. And um, there's so much more than what I have to say uh, about that. It's just a, it's a full circle effect of why crime occurs, why drug use occurs, why, you know, abuse occurs, especially in children but also in adults as well. I mean, it's a problem and it needs to be fixed. And it's not an overnight thing. It's gonna take years, um, but we need to figure out the root of that problem now, okay? Um, and so I'm not, you know, giving up hope on this. I'm definitely, it's, it's part of my purpose and why I'm here, um, but just to put a bug in people's ear about, um, you know, people that feel that people don't care. So it's really important that we are aware of that and that, you know, some people don't even think about it, you know, and so, and that's what conversation is about. So let's keep this in mind this week and please, you know, comment on what I have to say. You know, if you feel that this is a topic that needs to be known or something else that, uh, regarding desegregation or trauma or, you know, kids that, you know, behave as a result of feeling like no one cares you know let's comment let's talk about this let's start a discussion okay if you like this video feel free to like it definitely share it and add that comment and uh, i will talk to you guys soon thank you